What are the six most important KPIs every startup should be measuring? I have worked with lots of startup companies helping them to develop better indicators to monitor how well they're doing. And as a non-executive director for a number of bigger companies, I've also been involved in acquiring startup businesses and evaluating how, how well they're doing. So from this perspective, I basically have identified six critical areas of measurement that every startup should be measuring and any business that wants to acquire a startup should be monitoring very closely before they make a decision. The first area is to look at the opportunity. So we try to understand the market. Um, there's something called TAM, it's the total addressable market. So you understand, okay, for my product and my service, what's the overall market size? What's the opportunity that I'm entering? That's a good starting point. But then you want to look at market share as well, because in most industries, there's competition. So you are competing with other organizations. So you want to understand your relative market size and the actual, the, the slice of the cake that you believe your business can capture. And then you want to measure how this is changing over time. So you want to measure the relative um, market um, size. So how, what's your size? Who else is holding other slices? And what is their proportion of this? And how is this changing? So they are for me absolutely vital looking at the opportunity that, you, that there is for your business. The second key metric is income. So businesses need to understand, are they making money and where's this money coming from? So in an ideal world, you want to become profitable as quickly as possible. So you want to understand, am I breaking even? And you want to understand where your income is coming from and how well it is growing over time. So the, you want to make sure that every month you are growing your income at a steady rate. In an ideal world, you would create what we call recurring income. So this is the startups that are doing best are creating the subscription models that every month give them some income or, uh, or every year give them a, a new level of income. You also want to understand where this is coming from. So who are your key customers, your segments? And you want to watch out for customer concentration, which means is maybe too much of your income coming from just a small proportion of customers, which leaves you very vulnerable. And you also want to look at customer lifetime value. So how much value is a particular customer or a segment of customers going to deliver to you? So looking at this and understanding income as an overall picture is vital. The third area is to look at your customer acquisition. This basically means how do you find customers? How many of them are you able to convert? And how much money are you spending? So, over time, you want to see customer acquisition costs come down. You want to see a steady growth in customer acquisitions. And you also want to test the different channels. So how are you acquiring customers? So if you're spending money on advertising, you want to understand the return on the investment on this. So what's the conversion ratios? How many of them are you converting into customers? And this is, is this worth your time? So again, correlating this with your income would be a really good idea. Another really important area to look at is funding health. The reason for this is that most startups fail because they run out of cash. So we need to make sure there's enough money in the bank and it gives us enough time to actually grow our business. So the first one is we want to understand the burn rate. So how quickly are we burning cash and is this sustainable? And sometimes you can break this into fixed and variable costs. So the, the fixed ones is the money you have to spend every day on electricity, on buildings and whatever you're doing. And the variable ones are where you have some flexibility around advertising spend. The other important indicator that I would look at is runway. So basically how much time have you got left until you run out of money? So if you carry on with your existing burn rate, how many months um, will, can you carry on before you might need another injection of cash? And they're really important indicators that I would uh, monitor very tightly. The fifth area to look at is customer engagement. This is something startups sometimes forget. That it's really important 
to make sure the products and services that you're offering are being used by people. So you want to understand are people maybe on a daily, weekly or monthly basis coming back to your product? Are they using it actively? Are they engaging in it? Are they engaging with your platform? So this is a vital indicator that indicates long-term success usually. The last area to look at is loyalty. What you want is you want long-term success. You want customers that stay with you. It is much easier and much cheaper to keep existing customers that you've already acquired than trying to find new customers. So you want to look at loyalty. In particular around things like you want to measure churn. So how many of your customers are leaving you and then maybe even churn by cohort. So you're trying to understand what customer segment is more likely to churn. Um, you might also want to measure something that's called the Net Promoter Score, NPS. I've done uh, videos on that of how, how you would use this, but this is usually a very good indicator where you basically ask a question of how likely are you to recommend this product or services to, to a, a friend. So this is a really good strong metrics to measure customer loyalty. So those, those six areas I would recommend any startup would monitor very closely and anyone who wants to acquire a startup, I recommend that you look at those six to really evaluate how successful they might be.